Wake up with Matt in the morning. Hey guys, thanks for waking up with me. I'm Matt. This is Matt in the morning. And that's Adeline Bell. Hey, so today we're doing a crock pot dish that is going to take a couple of steps. As you can see behind me, I've got the cast iron skillet. I've got some pork chops over there. We got to do some work on that before we get it into the crock pot. Once it's done there, we have a whole nother third step. So I'm excited to get into it. This is going to be delicious. Um, I love using the crock pot. I also love using my cast iron skillets. Um, I was finally able to get the GoPro rigged up as you can see. So I'll be able to do, uh, do something there too. Not really sure what Adeline Bell's doing, but um, you know, hey, she's helping, right? She is helping. So anyways, let's jump over to here and just get this thing started. All right. So we got about a tablespoon of butter as well as about a tablespoon of olive oil. Got it all melted there. I'm just going to toss the about a cup of onions diced up. I buy them already diced. Makes it simpler. And we got about four cloves or so worth of garlic in here. We're just going to let this run for about two minutes. And then we're going to transfer it into the crock pot. Oh, our helper has dropped her utensil. Floor is clean. That's fine. We're going to do this for about, like I say, for about two minutes. Transfer this to the crock pot. Then we're going to brown up the pork chops. All right, and just like that, that's done. I transferred that over to the crock pot. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, pork chops on. Now they're all supposed to be bone-in pork chops. We had a little fiasco and here we are with just two bone-in and the rest are these like ultra thin things. So don't worry about it if you're like, well, hey, what, what are you doing? That's not, that's not right. I know it's not right. But we're gonna make it work. So all we're going to do is brown these things on each side for two minutes. And then toss them in the crock pot. Now also what I've done is on these, and it was sitting for about a half hour, was salt, pepper, thyme, and mustard powder. That's our seasoning on these. And I let it sit for about a half hour. Um, yeah, so we're just going to brown these on both sides and toss them in the crock pot. So. I'll just come back when it's time for that. All right, just like that, the pork chops have been brown, about a minute or two on each side. Um, in here down below, as you can see, we got the pork chops. Below it is the onions and garlic we did. Again, it's just supposed to be three pounds of bone-in pork chops. We had a situation, that's why we got different stuff going on, so it is what it is. It's Adeline Bell back there, super excited about this Matt in the Morning episode. Super excited. <laughs> or not. I don't know. Anyways, at this point, guys, you're going to do a cup and a half of chicken broth. Use whatever broth you want, I guess, whatever you got. I don't know, it really matters, up to you. We're also doing a container of cream of mushroom soup. This is some fancy Trader Joe stuff we're doing. And then all we're gonna do is throw this on low for, it says six to eight hours, so at about six hours, we'll check it and go from there. Now, again, uh, those of you that have been watching the show know I like to uh, use the smoker, right? I like to use the pellet grill. So, you know, instead of doing this on the cast iron skillet, why not, uh, why not throw them on the smoker for a couple minutes? Give them a little smoke flavor to it. Um, I'm always a huge fan of that. Again, it's just time crunch time. As you can tell, it's Christmas time. So, actually, it's about a few days before Thanksgiving. Um, pretty much Christmas time. So just crazy busy around here with lights and needing to do a bunch of running around. I just don't have time. 
time, time, time. There's 24 hours in a day. I need like 50 hours in a day. So anyways, at this point, I'm just going to toss the lid on. As you can see, I got everything in here. And we're going to set it on low. We'll check it in six hours. We have a human jack in the box behind us. I don't know what's happening, guys. She's happy, I'm happy. Anyways, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, it's been eight hours. Let's pop this thing open. Already down to warm. Voila. So at this point, what you're gonna do, because there is one more step. At this point, what we're gonna do is take all the pork chops out. At this point, technically, we should put it into a pot and do this, but we're gonna try it this way. So, three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream and one tablespoon of cornstarch. And some salt and pepper. Boom. At this point, we're gonna whisk. Whisk, 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 whisk. And you just whisk, whisk, whisk. It'll start to thicken up a little bit and that'll be our sauce. Okay guys, we're back. And may or may not have had a little bit of a fiasco with the sauce. As in, I had to call in reinforcements. Stephanie. So you do have to take that sauce, put it into a saucepan, then add your um, heavy whipping cream. Once you get it mixed up, then start to bring it up to a boil, then slowly add in your cornstarch. Um, the way I had it, wasn't working. So Stephanie had to make a slurry, which is cornstarch and cold water, mix that up, slowly pour that in to get this thing to thicken up like it should. Um, so yeah. So the whole thing, this whole process has been kind of crazy. Don't have the right pork chops, I screwed up on the sauce. Anyways, here we are. That's okay, we're gonna work through it and get, we're just gonna move on. Let me make sure, and I'm gonna put in the notes, I'm gonna make sure to have in the directions to transfer it to a saucepan, all that good stuff. Stuff like that, you can't go rogue like I do sometimes. Do I go rogue? Maybe. And sometimes when I go rogue, though, it works out. And sometimes it doesn't. I think it usually works out. Stephanie would probably say maybe not. I think it does. Okay, just checking my notes. Boom, boom, boom. There we go, guys. You know what? They're not all winners, right? Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Today, I don't think I lost today. It just isn't as prime time as it could have been. So again, instead of eight hours, I'd back it up to six in the crock pot. And then I'll have the directions on how to properly do this sauce. Some of you watching this might be like, well, duh, you can't do a sauce the way you were trying to do it. I'm not a sauce guy. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, Dan Mmm. That is good though. That is good. Okay. I'd do this one again. I would do it correctly next time. Um, but yeah, no, this one is good. There's a few steps to it. So if you're looking for a crock pot meal, you can just throw something in and go. This probably isn't it. So you have a few different steps there. Um, but it's good. If you got some pork chops and all that good stuff, this is it's pretty solid. So anyways, hey, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe right up here. And we got these two videos over here to check out. And yeah, hey, we'll see you next week.